Hey, so this is gonna be just a lot of rocket videos and not a lot of explanation. So I took my old rocket, which was just a tube, and I basically wanted to increase the inertia. So I cut it up and extended it on stilts. Uh, the idea was if the inertia is larger, then maybe it'll be the rocket dynamics will slow down, it'll be easier to adjust. Uh, that enabled me to add a GoPro mount, which makes for some cool videos. And uh, a guy, Tom Fetter, helped me understand like fins are actually pretty useful. Uh, so I should probably have them and help me update the PID values. With that said, uh, here's a F10 launch, seven second burn uh, with some video. One. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Look, event. Nice. Yeah! Yeah, we have a shoot and he's got an even longer burn, hopefully slightly higher. Yeah, what's what's funny to me watching that video is how excited I got. You know, I wasn't trying to do that for the cameras, and you can tell I'm kind of mellow. But I watched the video, and I see how excited I got. <laughs> I found that pretty amusing. You know, part of it is I have to drive two and a half hours to get out there, and I thought my rocket might crash. So when I made it through the first run, and I knew, like, hey, you know, it's going to be a good day, I was pretty excited. Um, anyway, the, the fins, these little cheap things... I printed, 3D printed, was the only part I designed to break. And they actually make it through the the whole day and not break. It was pretty amazing. Uh, here's some data. I got roll, uh, pitch, gyroscope, elevation estimates. Um, I really like my spin control algorithm. It was like pretty spot on, so it wasn't spinning this time. So that's awesome. But, okay, with that, uh, now the H13 launch. Okay, so I have another video with the H13 data. Um, so at this point, um, I had an H135 that I actually bought on accident because I typed H13 in. So uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll launch this one. And I turned off basically thrust vector, vector control. Like I set the weights way down and I limited the angle to nothing. So I figured this was the safest launch. And actually what I didn't realize is, um, you know, I had never tested it this much for. So we're talking like, you know, a, a lot of thrust here. I mean, it's a high power, short burn motor. And right on takeoff, it, it breaks uh, the mount. So it's not the thrust vector control. So this one is, was pretty dangerous. I almost want to not show the video. Um, Cause again, something happens here, I'm liable. Um, so it's a good reminder, like take things seriously on safety. Uh, Cause you don't want to mess around with this stuff. Um, so here's a H135, which was an unfortunate crash. Wow. So yeah, that was not cool. Um, but check it out, Finn survived. The one part I wanted to break. Um, yeah. Uh, so and I smashed the GoPro too. This, I mean, it still works. Just the touchscreen smashed. Everything else is. In Bits. Here was the spin motor mass that was in the nose cone. Uh, so the Raspberry Pi survived, and um, which is good. 
<laughs> so I can still talk to it. None of the data was saved, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, all the 3D printed parts and the wood, GoPro mount, uh, smashed. Anyway, so safety cost me a rocket and uh, got to double down on safety. Not sure next steps. I'm pretty happy with the day other than the last launch. So.